Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Palantir stock. So as going into this last particular week, I did talk about um, if you go to my channel and check out this video if you haven't done so seven days ago. Last week I talked about possible some sell-off uh, this particular this last week that may come in on Palantir and we exactly got that particular sell-off and cool-off that I was talking about down close to the level of 20, not just 20 days moving average, but this was the level $29.84. So we got that cool-off and after that we are getting bought back up. Right now, what do we expect from here on on Palantir? Are the things still looking good? What are the key levels to watch, the price action to watch? So let's take a look at all of that in this video. Now before that, also please note, none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes please do your own thing i'm just sharing here my opinion nothing more than that all right so here we are and as for the current structure structure on palantir here guys this as we came down to this level 29 and 79 cents previous pivot zones we found some support bouncing up bouncing off of 20 days moving average as well as i said is this a strong rebound from here on this particular week? Can we continue higher? So just looking at the daily interval, we are still in an ongoing overall uptrend. We still have higher lows, right? And higher highs. We are still in an ongoing uptrend. There is no structure break. Well, as, as on the directional structure, there is no structure break right now. That tells me that we are gonna go much lower. Right now, I'm just seeing a good green buying candle here. Definitely the next move is above $31.62, the big move that would happen. Also, don't lose your sight off of the zone that Palantir is in right now. And you're not seeing some levels up to the top because I haven't adjusted my indicator for that. So let me do that as well real quick. We'll just have to move the timeline here in the past and we are good to go. Let's take it all the way back there. Okay, so we have some levels up on the top, but you get my point, right? That um, this is the zone where after this, we have a huge gap all the way to, you know, almost $40. But what I'm trying to say is that we are now getting into the zone where the previous most of the consolidation at this high point have has been. After that, there's a lot of volatility in the past. So let's go to the hourly interval at least let's identify first what are the intraday plays overall structure still technically is going in the uptrend but let's see what is you know the expectation going in next week now we are on the hourly interval here now a couple of things i want to point out on hourly interval we have a good inverted head and shoulder here and any sell-off at 200 hours moving average is eventually getting bought back up as well this particular zone right so a good inverted head and shoulder with a constant buying happening, right? So what I want to do is mark this zone with the, there's a zone here. And as we'll mark these zones and areas to watch going in this week, we'll eventually, you know, uh, take a look at what type of plays would make more sense. So a strong demand candle with the inverted head and shoulder pattern with constant buying support happening here. You can also see that this strong wick down here that we had still that particular day gave it a big bounce so let's go to the five minutes interval now and yeah you can see that this is where we got that good strong bounce as well right so now from here onwards on the intraday side guys there are two things here as if we continue to stay above this level of pretty much $31.53 or we also get about $31.63, it's just an upside play. Any pullback if it happens, but if the pullback can stay also above $31.20, let's say if sell-off comes, that will be just fine. It's just a pullback. I right now don't see this becoming a bearish play. And going into this week, if we continue to you know stay above this bottom blue box that is thirty dollars and eighty five cents area zone above there is no structure to the downside even intraday this thing is just an upside play again it will you will have to wait and see if let's say it starts to cool off or sell off you'll have to first wait and see on the lower time frame like where is the structure getting bought back up and for those levels to watch are these significant levels as well like 31 25 cents 
and um, you know so forth so and then definitely getting just above from you know the zones like 31 and 82 cents area this particular area I would say it's just a continuation to the upside so structure is still bullish and can remain bullish um, this uh, the well the only weakness I would say even on intraday would only come if you lose this blue box because I just showed you there's just so much strength built up here right demand candle buying pivots so this structure is holding really well and inverted head and shoulder as well and on five minutes as I just showed you multiple retests got bought back up at this level so this thing is still strong enough and is still getting bought back up okay so that's that let's go to the um, weekly interval as well and the only thing on the weekly interval I want to point out that guys the overall direction of Palantir for like now forever not forever but last year month of May has been just in an uptrend right like Technically, it's still higher highs, higher lows in the overall structure on Palantir. So things haven't really broken in, in that regards, right? So uh, yeah, just, just keep that in mind. And right now on the daily interval, as I just showed you, um, I'm at least for coming days, I'm not seeing a weakness unless uh, if we lose this blue box. The next level to watch is definitely the area or the zones like... Um, that the you know continued upside at least that is 33 dollars 13 cents is a possibility on this and thereafter we'll see what it does but yes it continues to remain just having that bounce and as if we stay above this blue box at 30 dollars area it's just an upside play let's also take a look at short volume data on this i don't expect much short uh, you know volume standing out but we'll see Okay, so there uh, one actually that is standing out here that is um, 33, uh, but you can see that it's been negated pretty much, right? Like um, the next day, I mean, that's the problem, right? Like these short sellers were trying to short it at a really good support of inverted head and shoulder. I really don't see how it will work out in their favor. And then the next day we don't have high short volume. So and as if we continue to just break to the upside, especially this level like 31.83, since that's where the previous uh, little bit of a acting support turned resistance now, right? Once we get above it, I do expect a squeeze as well because it's a high short volume data here. And then if we break the structure to the upside at that level, that is 31 and 81 cents, some squeeze can happen, strong squeeze can happen. That's that. Okay, doki. Guys, that's it for this video and if you found it helpful, valuable, please hit the like, subscribe and with that I'll see you in my next videos. Take care. Bye. One more thing guys before wrapping up, don't forget to check out my junior trader dividend investing channel. You will find the link to this channel in the description of this video as well and here I have been building my public facing portfolio for you all. I hold position across multiple tech stocks, ETFs of you know energy, UMAX, Tesla, Nvidia, Amazon. Nasdaq type ETFs you name it right like and I share all the updates here and the last video that I did I have been sharing my dividends so far profits and portfolio updates what I plan on doing next as well so check out this channel link is in the description below subscribe here as well if you are interested in following along all right